Welcome back to The Trumpet. Let's go right back to the front door of the house that I designed when I was a senior in high school. I've got a story to tell you. I told you I was going to say three a lot. So it's three o'clock in the morning and I'm reading Revelations 3.20 and I hear a knock on the door. You know, let me tell you what that dog was barking about this time. Let me read you that scripture, what I was reading, Revelations 3.20. <laughs> I love her. Revelations 3, verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. In Revelations 3.13, I told you 3 and 13 are going to be coming up a lot. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Let me get right back to the 13th person in this picture. And just how the number 13 exists in our everyday life. Jesus is all over the place. But of course, the Freemasons didn't realize how often they were saying 13. Let's go back to the 13th colony of Georgia. And so this guy right here, he founded Georgia, and he was a Freemason. You can print all this stuff out on the internet. It's pretty easy to find. So let me tell you about the Joneses next door. So Noble Jones, he opened this piece of property right here in the same year that Savannah was founded. It's the back door to Savannah. That's actually called the back river. And when that goes out to the ocean, all the sandbars that open up on that, that's called Hell's Gate. I grew up on the back river. Me and my dad lived in a boat right there. This is his driveway, which is also in my living room. All the things with KJV written after that date right there by this guy. So let me show you in 2 Samuel where the Masons built their first fort. I've never been to Fort David and I've never been to Camp David, but I've been to Savannah, Georgia. I used to work in this building right here on the river. It's called the Windows. And the Pope, when this happens, this happens, and that's the same thing that happened to Hiram Abiff, except uh, he had a bad result. Well, no, nope, here it is. Every fort needs a general, and, uh, well, this guy's in the background the whole time. Follow Ezekiel 33.3 for more.